This is the, the main learning space where we tried to make this look like a great big living room. From the size of the room to the setup of the furniture. There's no, no rows and there's no columns and there's no sort of classrooms and there's no rooms in the building that are actually classroom sized. There's nothing mainstream about this teaching space. This is a school unlike any other. It's more like a big giant house than a school. The focus is project-based, personalized learning at the Pacific School of Innovation and Inquiry, Victoria's newest high school. So this uh, is our library, as you can tell. We're not trying to get away from anything. We're trying to provide a model and hopefully influence the main, what mainstream education actually is. This, you'll have to use your imagination, the light fixture will be attached to the ceiling and there will be a cover over it. He's been a public school teacher, counselor, vice principal, principal and most recently superintendent, but none of which completely lined up with Jeff Hopkins' education vision. So a year ago, Jeff decided he'd have to create that vision himself. The vision, I guess, is personalized learning. And, and for us, what that really means is um, a curriculum that isn't set in stone that's the same thing for everyone at the same time. It's an emergent curriculum, which means each student designs their schedule around their interests and passions. I'm really interested in um, film, media, and also into technology. I like any kind of art, really, and I'm kind of a little bit interested in psychology. For 16-year-old Janessa, it's quite the jump from the online courses she's used to doing. <laughs> I think that a lot of the learning online is set in the ways that you can learn, but here it seems like it's more fluid and I can learn the way that I learn best. A few examples of how this school differs from the mainstream system is classes don't begin until 9.30 in the morning. There's also no bells, no blocks, and no scheduled lunch hour. The kitchen's always where all the action is in a house, and yeah, it probably will, be, so probably will be in here too. Yeah, you right. eat when you're hungry and study what you're interested in. It's a structure that Jake West has been looking to teach for the last seven years, and he's finally found it at PSII. Uh, there's this famous quote that says uh, um, an invasion of armies can be resisted, but not an idea whose time has come, and the time has come. But it's not just Jeff, Jake, or the 50 students and their families who feel the same way. Over 600 people applied for the four teaching positions, and most of the applicants shared similar values with PSII's approach. It's a reassuring feeling for Jeff, who quit his job as the Gulf Island School District's superintendent to take this big gamble. You wonder when you're taking a, a risk like this, you know, am I crazy? Am I the only person? Have I, have I lost some perspective? And then all of a sudden, you see hundreds of people, uh, not just the applicants for these jobs, but people on the sidelines cheering. Jeff is still putting the finishing touches on the main learning space and the 11 cozy rooms that surround it. But not all learning will happen within these walls. Students will have the chance to go out in the field to work one-on-one -on -one with professionals. Um, there's no need for us to pretend that learning is contained inside the walls of a school because we know that it isn't. Tuition is just under $7,000 a year, but Jeff hopes having this education model in place will encourage other schools to test out new ways of teaching high school. In Victoria, I'm Jen Morantz. <laughs>